uh, inferior uh, compression of the patella. So what I'm gonna do is come here, I can just kind of stabilize on the leg. I'm gonna be giving an inferior glide to the patella, just kind of holding it there. And then my forearm isn't exactly parallel with his leg. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit, which is gonna give a little bit of posterior compression, um, getting a little bit more contact with between the patella and the femur, the groove that it's in, just kind of might irritate it a little bit more because since that's what we're going for. So Chris, what I'm gonna have you do is go ahead and just gently contract your quad. Good, and then you should go ahead and relax. And do you have any pain with that? Okay, so I'm kind of watching his face, seeing how he reacts to that. Um, and then if he doesn't have pain, maybe if I'm thinking his um, subjective, all my other stuff is really leading me towards some kind of patellar sort of pain, then I might do it again with a little bit of increased resistance on my part. So then I can go again and push a little bit harder, give a little bit more compression, do something and see if that aggravates it. And then again, the kind of most aggravating position would be him sitting and then kind of doing the same thing of an inferior glide as he kicks his leg up. So the other option besides the inferior compression is just a straight posterior compression. So I'm just gonna come here and press down. And then same thing, Chris, let me have you just gently contract your quad. Good. And then any pain with that? Okay, so then we'll have them relax. And again, same thing, if you're really suspicious of some kind of patellar sort of pain, uh, but he's not reproducing his symptoms, maybe you press a little bit harder and have him go again. Or again, he can sit on the side, push into it as he kicks his leg out. Any questions on that one?